make some noise. So, Star Trek IV? Yeah, it still feels like it's light years away from happening. But hey, hold on to your warp drives, because there's news of a new Star Trek movie coming our way. Get this. In January 2024, word got out about a prequel movie set before the 2009 reboot. J.J. Abrams, the mastermind behind it all, is back in action with his bad robot crew, along with Toby Haynes directing and Seth Graham Smith on the script. But don't go mourning Star Trek IV just yet. It's apparently still in the works, labeled as active development as of January 2024, though we're all in the dark about any fresh updates. Last year, in September 2023, Lindsay Anderson Beer, one of the writers, hinted that the movie was still a go. And then, just a few weeks later, Variety spilled the beans that Paramount was eager to rev up scripts for a planned reboot of Star Trek. Why aren't we at war? We ought to send. Kirk Engineering, get us out of here, Scotty. You bitch it off, Captain! Now, here's where it gets a bit hazy. Is this planned reboot? the same as the prequel, or something entirely different. Even Chris Pine, who plays Captain Kirk, shrugged when asked about it in November 2023. Not that I know of, he said to comicbook.com. Looks like we'll have to wait for the cosmic dust to settle on this one. All right, so picture this. Back in February 2022, it seemed like the long-awaited Star Trek IV was finally picking up speed. J.J. Abrams was set to produce again, and Matt Shackman was all set to direct, much to the delight of both the cast and the fans. But then, plot twist, Shackman bailed in August 2022 to helm Fantastic Four for Marvel instead. And just when we thought we had some hope, Paramount went and yanked the movie off the release calendar in September 2022. But hey, at least they're still on the lookout for a director. Fast forward to March 2023, and J.J. Abrams, the man behind the magic, spilled the beans that they're still hunting for a director. I'll tell you this time around, we've got a story that's just as gripping as the first one, he spilled to Esquire. But even Chris Pine, aka Captain Kirk, has called the whole franchise cursed. So it's up to you how much optimism you've got left in your warp drive. The bottom line? Star Trek IV isn't hitting theaters in 2024 like we hoped. But while we twiddle our phasers in anticipation, here's the lowdown on what could be the triumphant return of the USS Enterprise in Star Trek IV. So when exactly can we expect Star Trek IV to hit the big screens? Well, buckle up, because as of now, there's no confirmed release date in sight. Yep, you heard it right. The movie got bumped from its original December 22, 2023 spot and hasn't resurfaced on the schedule since. And sorry to burst your warp bubble, but there aren't even whispers floating around about its comeback. Back in June 2022, before Shackman jumped ship, Paramount bigwig Brian Robbins gave us a glimmer of hope, saying they were knee-deep in development with J.J. Abrams and feeling pretty jazzed about where they were headed creatively. But then, in November 2022, Zachary Quinto, who plays Spock, dropped a truth bomb in an interview with The Independent. He basically said he's not holding his breath anymore. At this point, I honestly have very little attachment to it, he admitted. Ouch. Yet despite the uncertainty, folks like writer Lindsay Anderson Beer still seem to be holding out hope for the project. So until we get official word, we'll just have to keep our phasers on standby and our fingers crossed for a return to the final frontier. So who's suiting up for Star Trek IV? Well, even when it was slated for December 2023, it wasn't set in stone that our beloved reboot crew would be back in action. But fear not, Trekkies. Paramount bigwig Brian Robbins hinted in his June 2022 announcement that he's well aware of fans' desires for the OG cast to make a comeback. So if this starship sets sail, it's a safe bet we'll see the return of Chris Pine as Kirk, Zachary Quinto as Spock, Zoe Saldana as Uhura, Carl Urban as Bones, John Cho as Sulu, and Simon Pegg as Scotty. Urban's definitely game for a reunion. Even though he confessed in March 2022 that, like Pine, he hasn't laid eyes on a script yet. I would love to work with those guys again. So much fun. The best hang. We'll see, he gushed. Sure, things seemed a bit up in the air, echoing Quinto's sentiments, but hey, a Trekkie can dream, right? So here's the scoop on the original plan for Star Trek IV. They were cooking up a time travel adventure that would have seen Chris Pine's Kirk teaming up with his late father, played by Chris Hemsworth. Sounds pretty wild, right? But hold your phasers, 
because Hemsworth spilled the tea in May 2019, revealing why he pumped the brakes on the project. I just didn't feel like we had a good enough reason to revisit that yet. I didn't want to disappoint, he confessed. Now, whether this new rendition of Star Trek IV is still aiming to bring Hemsworth back into the fold, or if they veered off into uncharted territory, remains a mystery. But Hemsworth seems down for a comeback, which is promising. Then, in October 2022, the masterminds behind Rings of Power, J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay, teased a bit more about what their original vision for the fourth flick entailed. Brace yourselves! They envisioned a cosmic twist where both Kirks were the same age. Mind-blowing stuff, right? As for Pavel Chekhov, following the tragic passing of Anton Yelchin in 2016, it's a bit of a sensitive topic. Zoe Saldana, who plays Uhura, touched on this in March 2022, expressing the bittersweetness of moving forward without one of their own. But she also believes that sticking together as a Star Trek family is a way to honor Yelchin's memory. So, while we're still in the dark about many details, one thing's for sure, the journey to Star Trek IV is shaping up to be quite the cosmic roller coaster. Ah, the million dollar question. What's the deal with Star Trek IV's plot? Well, as of now, we're still flying blind in that department. No confirmed details have beamed down to us yet, leaving us all in suspense about what cosmic escapades lie ahead. As for how closely it'll pick up from where Star Trek Beyond left off, your guess is as good as mine. In case you need a refresher, the third movie saw Kirk turning down a big promotion to stick with his captaincy aboard the USS Enterprise. Meanwhile, Spock decided to stay put in Starfleet and rekindled his romance with Uhura. And with the Enterprise getting a not-so-graceful exit, they're gearing up for fresh adventures on a shiny new starship. So, according to Pine, the fourth Star Trek movie shouldn't be trying to outshine the Marvel Universe. He's all about keeping it real and staying true to the essence of Star Trek. I've always felt that Star Trek shines brightest when it keeps things intimate, he explained. It's not about flashy explosions or huge spectacles. It's about the bond between this crew, the stories they tell, and the fans who love them. In other words, let's make this movie for the diehard Trekkies out there, the ones who live and breathe this universe. And hey, if others want to join the fun, that's cool too. But let's keep our expectations grounded and make something that feels authentic. So let's a reasonable budget, tell a compelling story, and if it ends up raking in the big bucks, well, that's just the cherry on top. But for Pine, success isn't measured by box office numbers alone. It's about staying true to the spirit of Star Trek. As for the first look, ha! <laughs> if only we had a warp drive to zip into the future and snag some Star Trek 4 footage for you. Unfortunately, we're stuck here in the present, just as eager as you are to catch a glimpse of what's to come. But hey, keep your tricorders tuned to the latest updates because you never know when a sneak peek might materialize. Until then, let's keep our phasers on standby and our hopes high for some stellar Star Trek IV trailers down the line. Well, that's it for today. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you at the next one.